Meghan Markle is almost at the end of her pregnancy, but does this clue suggest the Duchess is on her maternity leave? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are just weeks away from welcoming their first child, with many royal fans eagerly awaiting news on the gender and name of the baby. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been spotted out and about in recent days, but Harry this week was spotted on a solo trip to a primary school in Acton. Harry was attending St. Vincent's Catholic Primary School to plant trees with the children. Harry was alone on the visit to St. Vincent's, which took place on Wednesday, March 20. When the Duke arrived, he was greeted by pupils in the playground who according to Hello, asked him where Meghan was. Harry responded by miming a baby bump with his hand, telling the children she was having a baby. This suggests that Meghan is now officially on leave, resting before giving birth in a few weeks. According to Hello, Harry had moments earlier had to convince the children he was the real Prince Harry. A teaching assistant said, one of them tapped him and said, when is Prince Harry coming? Harry responded by saying, I'm the real Harry. I've just had my hair cut for the occasion. The day before Meghan and Harry had visited New Zealand House in London, to pay tribute to victims of last week's New Zealand attack. The couple made the trip as they were the most recent members of the royal family to visit the country. The Sussexes spent three days in New Zealand in October 2018, visiting Wellington in Auckland. In a joint statement with Prince William and Kate Middleton released shortly after news of the Christchurch terror attack broke, Harry and Meghan wrote. Our hearts go out to the families and friends of the people who lost their lives in the devastating attack in Christchurch. We have all been fortunate to spend time in Christchurch and have felt the warm, open-hearted and generous spirit that is core to its remarkable people. No person should ever have to fear attending a sacred place of worship. On the visit to New Zealand House, Meghan wore feather design earrings which had been given to her by the country's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. The couple placed flowers outside and were some of the first people to sign the Book of Condolence, which had been opened to the public on Tuesday. Meghan is now not expected to make any further visits or take place in any other engagements, however, her maternity leave has not yet been officially confirmed by Kensington Palace.